know it looks so much better when we're all here as one family and so good to see all of you guys praise god for his grace and his mercy i know that we've got a number of uh, special guests that are here to get today and we want to thank you guys for being with us in front of you there's a connect card and i'd love you to do a favor for me and that is fill out that connect card drop it in the offering box in the back or even in the offering plate that goes by here in just a few minutes or just leave it in your seat and we'd love to get a record of your attendance uh, one of the things that we're experiencing right now in our church is a season of revival and so i'm so grateful for what god is doing uh, I want to remind, I'll call you guys the faithful 50 or 60. You guys remember we gathered together on a Sunday night, two Sunday nights in a row, and we prayed. We prayed, God, save souls. Specifically, we prayed for Israel. Specifically, we prayed for sister churches. We prayed for revival. And uh, we also specifically prayed for Alex and our youth ministry and for our youth. And we asked God to shake this city through our youth and uh, shortly after we prayed we started seeing our youth make professions of faith <laughs> hallelujah isn't that an interesting thing if you pray God answers and so today we're going to baptize a couple of our youth I'm going to let Alex assist me in those actually I'll be assisting him but nevertheless we're going to baptize two of our youth and then um, I've also got a special guest here that we all know and love, uh, and I'm going to baptize him. I'm going to let him testify here in just a few minutes as well. Let me just remind everybody that's here, as we've told these baptismal candidates today, baptism doesn't save. That's right. And so it's very clear uh, that that message is known. In fact, I'm standing in water. Oftentimes people think, well, you're in water, so that means that, you know, it carries with it the idea of cleansing of sin. Actually, it doesn't. Uh, what the water actually represents is dirt, believe it or not. It represents a grave. When somebody dies, what do you do with them? You bury them. And uh, this water represents dirt. And really, they're saying three things. You ready for this? They're saying something about their present. In other words, the person that's being baptized is saying, I was saved, I gave my life to Jesus, and my old man... The old self, the old life I used to live, it's buried. That's why we bury it, okay? And then we bring them back out of the water and we're raised to walk in newness of life. So what they're saying is I've been raised to walk in a new life and I'm going a different direction for Jesus the rest of my life. So they're saying something about the present, um, about what God has done in their life. They're, they're saying something about the past. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ mm -hmm. died, was buried, and was raised again on the third day. They're also saying something about the future, that if the Lord tarries, there's a new statistic out on death. One in every one die, and they're going to bury the body. But are you ready for this? One day, the Father's going to give the Son the nod. Jesus is going to step over the banister of heaven, slide down the Milky Way, and call his church and raise the dead, those that know him, to life. Right. And so they're saying one day, this old body's going to be buried if he tarries, but he's going to raise me in, and I'm going to receive a glorified body. So what a picture of baptism today. In fact, even if we didn't have a sermon, we could baptize and you will have received everything that, uh, uh, that God wants to say to you today. So it's a wonderful day here. Uh, we also have one, a Miss Amy, that gave her life to Jesus Christ and she couldn't be baptized today. And we've got one that was actually sick today. So we've got two more baptisms lined up. Uh, in early December. So if you're considering baptism, God's speaking to your heart, uh, we'll get you on that list and we'll baptize you here in a couple of weeks, okay? Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. I love you guys so very much. All right, come on. This is Victor Sanchez, and I'm going to let uh, Brother Alex take it from here, okay? Hey guys, how you doing this morning? Good, all right. Well, guys, this is Victor Sanchez, as Vern said. Um, you know, I've gotten to know Victor um, when Sebastian, actually, his brother, started coming to church. And uh, it hasn't been too long since Victor has, um, has come to church with him. And here just a, a while ago, probably a month ago or so, we, uh, we went to a, an event that one of our sister churches was hosting. And um, at that event, Victor made the decision to follow Jesus. Amen. And it was... It, it totally, honestly, it totally caught me off guard, which is, I mean, totally how Jesus works, isn't it? Amen. Um, he works in the ways that you don't expect. That's right. And when we 
sat him down this Wednesday and, and talked to him about baptism, he, just the look in his eye, he was so sure. He was so ready. He was serious about what he was doing. And I, I couldn't be more proud to, to baptize this brother. All right. With that said, Rick, why don't you scoot up a little bit? Okay. Turn that way. Just a little bit. All right. Victor, have you trusted in Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Victor, upon your public profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're buried with Christ. And you're raised to life with Him. This is Maddox. Uh, Maddox, how do you pronounce your last name, bud? Stutterfield. Stutterfield, okay. So Maddox was another one of those boys that made the decision to follow Jesus at this, um, this event that we went to. And we were talking to him again on Wednesday, and I was asking him some, some tough questions. And he gave me the real responses. He was bold. He was confident. And, you know, I haven't gotten to know Maddox a whole lot, but, um, man, I'm so proud of the decision that he's made. His family is so proud of the decision that he's made. In fact, both families are. Um, you know, it's not often that uh, I'll, I'll talk to a parent and they're, you know, completely, completely enthusiastic before I even really tell them the, the whole news, but both of these families were. They were so excited and proud of their boys for making this decision on their own. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of them. All right, Maddox, have you made the decision to follow Jesus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is he Lord, your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Maddox, upon your public profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're buried with Christ. And you raise to the life of All right, so we have Brother Jim Feltz here, and we know Ooh, him. He's one of ours. Thought. It is a little chilly. It is a little chilly. <laughs> anyway, this is Brother Jim. We know him very well. Of course, his wife Cindy is here. And you've got some other family members here, I think. If, oh, if, uh, Lord. Yeah, on, oh, yeah. Amen. Nevertheless, uh, we're so glad. I'm going to let you share a little bit of your story here okay. on um, why you're standing in the waters today, Jim. All right. Um, well, back in 94, I got saved. And in 08, I got baptized uh, the first time. And... When I got baptized, I tell a lot of people, all I told Cindy, before we got buried, I had to get baptized. And during revival and during their men's retreat, I realized I didn't do it all for Christ. I did it for me. Yes, sir. And it's not the way it's supposed to be, y'all. That's right. You're supposed to be all in for Christ. And I did it because I felt like I had to for my marriage, which I did, but I wasn't doing it for all the right reasons. Yes, sir. And it got put on my heart, something just oh, convicted me that, hey, you're, you're on the wrong side of this and you gotta make it right. Amen. So let me, let me tell y'all something. If you have doubts, it's okay. Yes, sir. Because Somebody shared something with me today that I value so much that even John had doubts. Yes, sir. And That's right. I, uh, I realized more stuff today, and Amen. I appreciate it. Love but it. Don't, don't let that stop you. Don't let those doubts stop you. If anything I learned during revival was that the doubts that I had were what was hurting me was m making my relationship with Jesus not what it was supposed to be. And then the baptism issue came up and I realized at the men's retreat coming home that I had to get this right. And in fact, I sent Vern a message and I said, listen, we gotta do this tomorrow. 
and I found out, no, I gotta wait until today, <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. But remember, it doesn't matter how old you are, y'all. That's right. You could have been baptized when you were 12 and now you're 60. If you realize it, that you need to get it right, get it right. Because that's, right. that's why I'm standing here today, because I'm getting it right. Amen. So there are two reasons you might need to be baptized. Number one, uh, the mode or the meaning. In other words, you might have been baptized on the wrong side of your salvation or you were sprinkled or poured or something like that. That has to do with mode, uh, meaning, has to do with uh, perhaps you, you were baptized in a church that thought that it removed original sin or saved you, uh, regenerated you in some way. But regardless, I'm glad that this brother is getting it straight today in the name of Jesus. Love you, brother. Yeah. Have you trusted in Christ as your Savior? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. By the way, we, I know we've got some roughnecks in the house today. This dude was a roughneck, and God got a hold of his heart. This is a miracle of God's grace right here. And so, um, old West Sider right here, really, <laughs> in many ways. In obedience to the command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and upon your profession of faith in him, I baptize you, my brother Jim, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of the living God, buried with him in baptism. All right, we're going to have a song, and then we're going to take up a, an offering today. So anyway, God bless you. See you in a minute.